Hey, welcome back. This is Dark Souls Let's Play Part 16. And over here, we have our buddy Solaire. Um, now, before I talk to him, I want to sort of explain the pain that I just went through. <laughs> so if you remember the way last episode ended, he uh, he wasn't here. Um, he should be here waiting for you when you open the door. Um, but he wasn't for us. And uh, I tried to play it cool and not panic. And um, after doing a little Googling, it turns out that if you um, don't finish your conversation with him, in uh, the Undead Berg when you first see him, he's, uh, he's not going to be here. And uh, you might be wondering, oh, but I saw you on camera, I, you talked to him, right? Uh, no, that was on my other character. If you remember, <laughs> I uh, messed up a recording and had to make a new one, and I may have uh, rushed past some parts, um, including some conversations. And now that this has like, become my main character again, um, I got to this point, and he wasn't here. So. The solution was to manually get out of here and uh, go all the way back to the Undead Berg and talk to him, let him say his little thing, and then I had to make my way back. And uh, one more thing to explain is that, uh, as you can see, this is this was a one-way drop, so how did I get out of here? Well, I kind of had to uh, rush through the level a little bit, <laughs> and that did mean I, have to, I did have to open up a shortcut door, so when we get there, it's going to already be open. So don't don't worry. That's um, it's all because I had to make up for my mistakes. Um, but I'll point it out when we get there. Um, it's not a big deal. It's just you know, you see a door opening that you won't get to see now. Not the end of the world. So anyway, with uh, with my tangent over, let's go ahead and see what he actually has to say. And I'll make sure you say, oh, let's see, while we're here, I'll just pull up my faith a bit more. So let's try to actually talk to him. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. And one more time. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got me. I got got a little crush on Slayer. Don't tell him. <laughs> but I'm actually uh, not fond of talking with you because what you just put me through, buddy. And the other annoying bit is like, you know, I had to walk all the way over there. And um, to actually save some time coming back, by the way, um, I rested at the bonfire, ran all the way there, talked to him, and then Homeward Bone got right back here. That's, uh, that's a tip in general if you ever find yourself having to backtrack and you're going to have to come back to the same spot. Just resist the temptation to rest at all the bonfires and uh, you'll have a good time. Just come right back. So let's uh, start actually exploring this place. We're going to have these enemies here who we actually fought a sword guy outside. But these are the Silver Knights. They're kind of like the Black Knights but less cool. And they can be a little... Uh, no, they're easier to fight. <laughs> I'm making... Uh, the spear guy, you know, it's, it's the timing on his thing to parry can be a little tricky, but besides that, it's no big deal. And I think I might have enough to level up, so let's do that real quick. Or I'm probably going to be like 10 souls short. Uh, no, I'm, I'm only 700 souls short. <laughs> well, we'll make that in no time. Um, let's just actually go through the level, try not to die, and see what happens. Um, so this place isn't as big and confusing as it may seem, and wow, my parry timing is just off today. Just take them out. It's nice that we can uh, one-shot them with our sword at this point, because uh, these guys can be... Eh, no, like I said, they're not too bad. Um, this is actually one of my favorite grinding places for souls, by the way, is um, just clearing out this whole area, killing all the knights, and um, you can get yourself a decent amount. So uh, this is a secret door, by the way. Um, a little hint for it is right there in the hallway. Um, that menacing sound is actually not coming from down here, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, as far as exactly what this place is, it's just sort of the dark cellar, um, which again, like the rest of Anorlando, is nice and clean at least. Uh, so we got a lot of chests here, and um, only one of which does not belong. So let's see, can I get the... not quite kill it. But, close enough. Uh, we already saw all of his moves, so I'm not going to show any more mercy to them. So we're going to get this Occult Club, which um, is just a normal uh, weapon that's just been upgraded to be Occult, and the Occult Path being 
Um, so, something similar to Divine, um, where it's like, you know, faith weapons, but uh, the only difference is that Occult has bonus damage against the gods. Um, plus there's some more minor differences in like how it exactly scales. Um, nothing to worry about too much. Uh, so we're going to find this Dragon Tooth here, which, as for the weapon of it, you may recognize it in a second here. Um, the name sort of <laughs> gave it away there. But we're finding uh, Havel's armor here. That's right, the guy who uh, we killed for the, his ring. We can actually get the rest of his armor here, and which is, by the way, some of the best heavy armor in the game. Um, you just get, like, I think it's the highest poise armor in the game, which is really cool. But it's really heavy, so probably not going to use it. Um, let's see if we can put on his helmet, maybe. That'd be cool. Um, I mean, that alone already puts us over. Um, ooh, I do like that helmet. Let's see, wait a minute here. <laughs> Try to get something that weighs a little bit less. Maybe the Wonder Manchette. Sure. Oh, yeah, really? Okay, I need to take off that a little bit more. Um, uh, that's fine. We can find some really lightweight gloves. Um, I guess our best bet is probably going to be these Black Sorcerer Gauntlets. There we go. Alright, so yeah, we're going to use Havel's helmet for a bit. Um, doesn't look, doesn't match too greatly um, in terms of coloring, but overall I like the big crest he has. Uh, so we're going to try this set for a bit. Probably going to, you know, I'm, I'm trying to mix up the armor a little bit. Like, I've been using the Black Knight set the whole time. I'd say that's, we'll get to there later. So um, I'm just sort of mixing and matching some stuff right now. Um, one thing, one of my pet peeves is always like, like I know, okay, so the game is up to you, you know, you wear the armor that you like, but in so many videos, I just see people wearing just the ugliest armor. <laughs> and it's like, you know, they're max mixing and matching things that have, like, no similar colors or anything. And yeah, like I said, these guys are hard to parry. But, um, yeah, when people are just wearing just, like, something just atrocious, like, um, yeah, let me change in a second here. Okay, so something like this, right? Just, <laughs> like, what, come on. What, what's going on here? Someone will just walk around as if it's totally okay to dress your character like this, and I just I just get annoyed. That's all. <laughs> like I said, just a pet peeve, not not a big deal. You know, when it comes down to Dark Souls, it's all about what you prefer. Um, if you actually think this looks good, um, you know, more power to you. But I mean, we just look like it's like a freaking meth addict <laughs> that just is wearing stuff he found in the garbage. You know, I like to make my guy look, you know, nice and practical, but still cool and functional. Um, so let's uh, let's change back. And proceed with the level. And I'm only just now noticing just how much the uh, helmet and the armor does not match, which is gonna start bothering me again after that whole little tangent right there. But um, you know, feel free to uh, judge me as much as you want. I kind of probably opened the floodgates there. <laughs> so if my armor set looks horrible, please let me know, and I will try to make something prettier. Uh, we don't have access to all the armor quite yet, but uh, once we do, you know, once once we're in the our new game plus, I'll have a lot more to work with. So right here is the, the trophy room, as it's called, um, sort of alluding to uh, uh, foreshadowing maybe what we're going to be fighting. Um, a bunch of dragon heads, you know, uh, dragons are the ultimate monster. Um, so if something's able to kill dragons, then surely it must be good. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm just being corny here. Just kill this thing here. Um, and I will also heal... Oh, by the way, uh, the bonfire down there is an excellent one to kindle which um, I think I might actually go down and do real quick here um, because we are going to have to be human for something coming up here. Um, and as you can see, there's two mimics because, you know, why, why just have one? Uh, sorry, kill them. And we're going to get coins from both of them, which are both just uh, pointless items. Uh, there's some descriptions on them, which I'm not going to bother reading because the lore is just so insignificant. I mean, it's great if you want to like, you know, get all the details of Dark Souls. And for all I know, like, I, I just I just don't remember what's on there. There's probably something really important that I'm missing out. Um, <laughs> but I don't think it's anything too critical. So let's come down here and reverse our hollowing and kindle the bonfire. That way we have more rests to go through the level with just in case we need it. Uh, but we are definitely going to want it by the boss fight because um, this next boss is going to be no joke. And that'll hopefully be obvious and hopefully it kills me at least once. But I'm going to try my best. And if I kill it the first time, I kill it the first time. 
Um, although, you know, the, the iron golem got me last episode, so I should just honestly shut up. <laughs> I think this guy will chase me. Uh, probably not, actually. But we'll just kill him anyway. Because there are some drops from these guys that I wouldn't mind getting. Um, I, don't, I don't think I care enough to put on the gold serpent ring, because I do like my 40 poise. It's been, uh, it's been doing a lot of work for us. If you've uh, been noticing all the times that I get hit and then don't get staggered. So over there is a jerk with a bow and arrow, who actually doesn't aggro until you get close to him. But just take him out. And just... Okay, one, two, three, one, Over there, we're going to see our buddy Siegmeier. Uh, he can't see us yet, but we're going to circle around to him in a bit here. Uh, you can hear a lot of steps. Okay, I, don't know. I guess that was just me. I think it's, yeah, something's weird. I think it's the acoustics in here. Um, it sounds like there's like 10 people walking right now. Um, but in here we're going to see just a bunch of nobles. Um, this picture here reminds me of that one uh, meme picture of the guy who's like smiling. <laughs> and then it's like gangster gangster lines but like with old English like a disregard wenches acquire currency. Um, here we're gonna see the goddess again. Um, you know this is kind of where they all live but you know we forget that they're supposed to be giants and they cannot be sleeping in a little bed like this. I don't know if that's an oversight or if there's like humans that actually live in here. Um, right here's a jerk who's gonna ambush you. I'm mess up my parry timing again and again but third time's the charm. Yeah third time's the charm. Down he goes, and up we go. He didn't, no, he didn't drop anything. Um, so up and out here. Uh, we got two guys. Let's just take this one out first, because he'll be shooting at us. Sort of bothered weave. Get behind him, and bleh, just like that. Yeah, it is. If you can one-shot these guys with a critical hit, um, just makes everything here a much better time. Uh, less rambling, more talking with our man, Seemeyer. Whatever can be done. What can be done? Ah, you again. Let me guess. Were you repelled by the Silver Knight? Ah, don't be ashamed. Tis the fate of vanguards like you and I. I'll think of something. We can overcome this together. Uh, so what he's talking about, by the way, if we uh, sort of peek in here, we got two guys and a third one right there. He's sort of thinking the best way to approach this. This is quite a fix. We'll need another three, no, maybe five bodies. Hmm, quite a fix indeed. I really like to know what his plan is. Where you need five bodies, like, where does that even start? <laughs> and how it's going to solve this problem. Um, I guess he could be talking about just, like, bodies as in just fighters. Um, you need five guys to storm this room. I always like to think that there's like, he's talking about five corpses that are going to somehow start some big convoluted plan that'll distract these guys or something. But you know what? We don't need that. We got, we got me. I can just come in and kill these guys pretty easily for him. Okay, okay, I'm getting real brave here. <laughs> like I said, wolf ring plus heavy armor is going to be just tank through any hits. Uh, this picture right here, by the way, I love this picture. Um, I would honestly probably get this framed and put it somewhere in my room. But something about it, just, you see some strong energy of this giant guard just menacing over this poor little guy. Uh, so here we're going to find some more demon titanite. It'll be very helpful later. And just in general, I think I think a lot of these paintings, by the way, are uh, concept art that was used in the early parts of the game um, that they're just sort of putting on display. Really, really smart use of resources there, I think. Um, just speaking as someone in the game development industry. But um, anyway, let's uh, see what he has to say now that we cleared the room for him. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh ho! What's on your mind, friend? Wait. You defeated those monsters? Fantastic. I'm saved. This night of 
Katharina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. But be warned, gallantry entails great risk. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. Uh, well, if you wanted to help out, that could have been nice. But be warned. Next time. Ah, uh, yeah, he's just gonna keep saying that. But anyway, that was uh, we're done with him now. If we continue his storyline. We'll see him again down the road. Um, let's just come over here, open the door. Uh, it did not open from the other side, by the way. Um, one of those usual doors. So uh, that's all this area is. The ring he gave us, by the way, is um, nothing special. In fact, it's probably like the opposite of special. Um, it was actually a ring that we could have started the game with, but all it does is it increases your health by like barely anything. I think I don't even know if it's the amount that like leveling up your vitality by one would be. It might even be below that, or maybe, maybe a little higher. I don't know. But either way, it's uh, not worth a ring slot. I'll tell you that. So over here, we got uh, three directions to go. First, let's peek in here. We're gonna see when these guys. Uh, again, we're not fighting <laughs> him right now. Only because it's such like a small, tight, close quartered room, and that one is particularly strong. And I just don't feel like dying ten times to it. Um, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna sort of circle back and kill a lot of these those guys when we actually need to. And, okay, there we go. I don't like to parry the spinning attack, but the stabs are a little easier to do. Uh, so over here, uh, that guy is guarding the chests. He won't mind if you leave him alone. I uh, just wanted to open the door, because that is a shortcut that's going to take us back to the start by the bonfire. So now we can just sort of run up this way. Uh, but we do want those treasures, so we are going to mess with them. Oh, got it. Nice. And I believe, is this, yeah, this is the trophy room. A lot of, a lot of dragon heads. Um, so these are not mimics, we can just pick them up. And we're going to get some of the coolest armor in the game, the silver knight set. Yeah. This is going to make, uh, this stuff's really good. Now I think we're going to do some science here. Let's go ahead and equip it all. Curious if this is actually better than our Elite Knight set. Um, our Black Iron Armor is probably better, but it's also very heavier. Whereas this is, yeah, we're pretty lightweight right now. So if you do want to compare armor ever, by the way, um, you just sort of, you go to as if you're going to equip it, then you hit X and it'll show you anything red means it's worse, anything blue means it's better. So um, in this case, you know, most of the defense is going to be worse, but we do get a little bit more poise on our elite knight armor. But you know, sometimes it's not mm, like that big. Like okay, so 19 versus 20 poise, like, you know, not not a big deal there. I think it even is. Uh... Oh no, this does weigh less. Okay, but you know, this is it's looking pretty good, right? Um, using the whole set is a little too uh, a little too nice and pristine for me for my style at least. But we're going to use it for a little bit, just because it matches, and it's getting just annoyed <laughs> by the miscoloring on our old set. So it's, uh, and we're in Anor Londo, so let's may as well rock the shiny armor. So anyway, coming in here, uh, we're going to find possibly the biggest room yet. Uh, if we go down here, okay, yeah, so this, oh yeah, okay, cool. So we at least get the message again. You feel the black eye orb quivering. Um, that, if you remember, is what we picked up off of the... Uh, Firekeeper after she died, and uh, if, you're, if we read the description on there, okay, are these guys gonna actually? I don't think they can fit up there, so okay, yeah, they're they're gonna back down. <laughs> um, real quick point: these guys are, if you notice, they're blue sort of sashes. Um, they're kind of like mini boss versions of the uh, normal ones we fight. Uh, they do respawn though, so not exactly mini bosses. Okay, anyway, before I get distracted. Let's go ahead and go to that black orb, right? Uh, invade the world of the murder of the Firekeeper to defeat the perpetrator and reclaim the soul of the Firekeeper. Um, we found this after the Firekeeper was killed, and this is going to let us get revenge. And I didn't really go to it before, but normally you can't use it until you get to this specific room. So let's uh, go ahead and use it and see if we can get some revenge. Uh, now it sort of acts like a multiplayer item, but... It's an NPC thing. And now uh, you may have been able to guess by now who the perpetrator was, but we're going to finally catch him in the act. And right in the middle is Knight Lutrec, the man who killed the Firekeeper, along with these his two um, freaking freck buddies here. Um, the one on the left is using the sealer set, 
so there is potential for him to be an actual character. Um, and we'll talk about the sealers down the road. Uh, the guy on the right is just some random pikeman. Okay, so yeah, this fight can be a little tricky. Um, I'd recommend... You sort of have two strategies, right? Either pick off his goons and then focus on him, or just rush him before these other guys can cause too much trouble. Uh, and where did Latrek go? There you go! <laughs> oh, there he is. Yeah, see, like, they'll do tricky things like that in this fight. Um, I'm kind of just... Okay, there we go. Got a next step. Which should finish him off. Let's see if we can finish off. Ah! Okay, I might be dead. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. Uh, you do want to be careful because he's got a special ring on which will make him stronger the closer he is to death. Um, but it won't actually activate until we really got him low. So just take him out. Nice. Um, let's see. And yeah, once you see him glowing red like that, um, he's got a ring on. If you remember that blue tear stone ring that we found. Oh god, it's gonna hurt. Oh yeah, see. Whoa. Okay, I think uh, his sword is special in that it'll sort of reach around your shield. Okay, and just like that, he's down. But yeah, he uh, nearly got us there actually, but we got, took him out. Target destroyed. We've avenged our firekeeper. So we get a souvenir of appraisal. That's because we're the blue spirit right now. Um, we can sort of explain stuff about that later. Um, but that's a basically covenant item for a certain covenant, which we're around. But anyway, we get a few things. We get the Firekeeper Soul, which um, you can burn to upgrade your Estus Flask, but this is a special one that will actually revive our Firekeeper, so we're going to want to hang on to that. We also got the Ring of Favor and Protection, um, which is a very interesting ring, because it, uh, it has some awesome things. It boosts your HP, Stamina, and... Uh, your equipment load, but once you put it on, you can't take it off. Uh, now you can take it off, but it's just it's going to break when you do that. Uh, so I'm going to not do that. <laughs> but there are a lot of builds where like that is use that in the Havel's Ring, and you can really start to min-max how much uh, equipment you can use. Over there, by the way, is the gate that I opened. Um, down there is the switch for it. I basically just ran through and got to here, and... Um, and just rushed outside and tried to minimize as many cutscenes and things as possible. Uh, there is a shortcut, which I will show once we get back to the bonfire, on how you can sort of skip a lot of the level. But before we do that, we're going to jump out this window here and make our way down here. And we want to be careful not to slip. Uh, don't worry about the spike, it won't hurt you. But right here we're going to find the Dragon Slayer Grapo, which is the same uh, giant bow that um, the Silver Knights were shooting at us. But anyway, it's come out here to get a nice plunging attack. This guy, you might be here if you listen carefully. Hammer striking. And if we remember, the last time we heard a hammer striking was when we found a blacksmith. So could there be a blacksmith waiting for us? Um, I mean, definitely, because I'm <laughs> foreshadowing it a lot, but Let's uh, pretend I have said nothing. Pretend. Spoilers. I have not been said. Ah! Can you not? Ah! Uh, okay. Buddy, buddy. I need you to cooperate. See, like, you'll just be playing Dark Souls and everything's going fine. You're just brushing past hard en enemies, no problem. And then just. A little grunt will just give you a lot of trouble and kill you. Um, didn't get out of hand there, but he was dodging a lot of my attacks, which frustrated me. <laughs> but anyway, Dark Souls is all about keeping you cool, and everything's going to work out. So uh, we are approaching the end of the episode here, so I'm going to try to make this quick. Um, right there is the guy I've been talking about, but I do have to kill this guy first. And he's cornered, so he's going to go down real easily. Um, they do drop their spear as a thing, so I'm always on the lookout. But let's uh, talk with this guy. Who are you? Forge your weapons? Yeah, so here we have a blacksmith, and this is possibly the best blacksmith in the game, because um, 
He does a few things, right? So things you can buy from him, uh, you can buy small, large, green, and twinkling titanite. Um, I'm probably going to pick up a few of these, actually. Um, I think I actually only need one more to upgrade my uh, weapon again. Um, oh, I never bought this. <laughs> pick that up. Uh, we got the giant's halberd and giant shield. That's what those big guys use. Um, plenty of arrows. He sells the most variety of arrows. Um, he sells some of those great arrows, as well as moonlight arrows, which are expensive, but pretty cool. And then he does sell the giant set, which uh, is part of a very infamous set, but uh, we're not going to probably be using it. Oh, the giant armor does look pretty cool. So heavy, though. Uh, and it's also expensive, so I'm not going to buy it just yet. Um, but he also will do some things. So, uh, he will... He can ascend things. So he can make an, a plus, plus 9 or plus 10 weapon into a lightning weapon. Which isn't just an elemental, it'll, won't, it'll lose its scaling, but it'll apply whatever element it is, in this case lightning. But he also does a pretty cool thing here where he will, uh, you can ascend a weapon uh, with a boss soul, right? So some of the things that we've killed have had, um, have used, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, some of the bosses have given us boss souls, right? And essentially you can take it and if you get another plus 10 weapon, you can um, basically get a weapon that either the boss is using or is related to the boss. Um, so for example, Quelog's sword. Uh, we take her soul, take a plus 10 curved sword, and then we'll have Quelog's fire sword. And you can also make a cool chaos katana with it. But um, I don't have the weapons ready. I do have the souls, but not the weapons. Um, we'll be coming back though, because there is a certain weapon that I've been alluding to this whole time that we're sort of making our build around. I, some of you veterans might be able to guess by this point what it's going to be. Um, but we do not have the soul for it, and we won't for a while, because I'm also going to try to get a special cutscene. Um, but anyway, without talking about it too much, let's see what else he has to say. Tis no good, but forge very good. I am any child. Talk. Yeah, so he's... Oh. Okay, I thought <laughs> there's more to say, actually. Yeah, so he's a simple character. He, um, he's real chill. He just, he's not complicated, he's no nothing. He just wants to forge his weapons and have a good time. Uh, and if you'll notice too, back there is a treasure chest. Uh, a lot of people like to kill him to get to the treasure, which is actually not necessary. If you just, like, roll a bunch, you can get to it. No problem. And what he's hiding is the hawk ring. And um, similar to the wolf ring, this, and I, okay, are we stuck? We might be stuck. Oh, no, we're not stuck. Okay. Uh, the hawk ring, right? So this thing, it's uh, similar to our wolf ring in that it uh, it's one of the Knights of Gwyn. And I think, yeah, so that's the only other one we found. So this one belongs to Hawkeye Go, who's a really cool guy. He was a, he's a ranger, and so his ring is, of course, going to be related to that. It does more damage boosting uh, for arrows. Um, but anyway, we're, uh, we're not shooting arrows, so we don't need it. Um, up the stairs here, I'll quickly go, but we don't need to. It's just going to take us to the other side of that main big room. And, uh, you know, instead of jumping down the window, we could have just come down this way. Um, I'll just go up there real quick to show you guys. Uh, this is where we have to go next, but I'm going to homeward bone real quick. Uh, we're almost out of time, but I do want to quickly... Uh, we'll, we'll be coming back here next time. But real quick, I want to show you the shortcut that I took. Um, so right, we're at the bonfire. Let's say you, um, you, know, you start the level, and you don't feel like actually playing the level. You can uh, come up this way, and okay, he's gonna chase me. But if you position yourself right here, you just sort of run and do a jump, and you can hop over. And just like that, we can um, get into the trophy room and open it from this side. And then right away also, that'll let us, uh... Wow, is he actually chasing me all the way? Yeah, look at that. Actually, wait, no, this was the other guy. Oh yeah, look at that, he came down. Um, anyway, I think uh, this episode is already going long. So uh, yeah, once you're up here, like I said, just go down there, open the door to unlock the shortcut, and you can just rush ahead right to the boss. Just like that. So that's what I did. I jumped off, ran this way, opened the gate, and went all the way back to talk to Solaire. But um, anyway... This is going to be a nice long episode. We've thankfully cleared out most of the level by now. So it should be um, a nice, simple trek to the boss next time. 
and uh, what a fight that's going to be. So, I'll catch you guys next time. For now, this has been Mike, and I don't have a standardized outro, so I'm going to stop rambling because we're over time. See you next time.